Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. Got another beer review tonight. This is going to be a beer from Stone. This is going to be their Enjoy By 7420, uh, aka 4th of July. And uh, this is their series where they give it like a 30 day shelf life. Um, this one was canned on May 27th. So we're not even quite a month old yet. Um, so yeah, it, you know. This is a very uh, familiar thing that Stone does, you know, on special occasions. They release this Enjoy By. Um, it's 9.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, it might be 37 day shelf life. I can't remember uh, exactly. Whatever uh, 4th of July is in comparison to May 27th. So, um, anyway, this beer is using quite a bit of hops. Uh, it's using Nugget, Super Galena, Simcoe, Delta, Target, Amarillo, Cascade. Galaxy, Citra, Nelson, Motueka, and Helga. Uh, I don't know a lot about um, Super Galena, Delta, Target, uh, or Helga. Um, but these enjoy my beers. They've been packing a lot of hops into them. Um, so this one, they're saying that it's you know unfiltered um, and it leaves a hazy appearance and stuff like that. So um, we'll go ahead and check it out. So I haven't had an enjoy by in quite a while, so kind of excited about this one. And uh, I like the can. They had the, the flag in the background and and all that. It's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get this in the glass here and see how it holds up. We're getting close to 4th of July, so it's next week, next Saturday. Today is Wednesday. All right, guys. Uh, quite a bit of head there, about two fingers worth. Uh, deep gold color, off white head, uh, really nice and tightly compact around the bottom. Gets a little sudsy up top. Let's go ahead and uh, shove our nose in it. Yeah, uh, it smells like a West Coast IPA. Um, it's definitely got some grapefruit character, some pine. A lot of orange, um, it's got some tropical fruit in there, pineapple, uh, maybe like a mango, a guava. Got a nice little bit of a bready sweetness to it. A nice um, resinous thing going on. Dank though. Um, yeah, kind of everything you would expect out of it. Um, I'm getting like a little bit of like a candied uh, grapefruit type thing in there. That's nice. Or candied citrus, maybe. It's a better way to put it. Yeah, it smells really nice. I, I like it. As I said in my last video, I'm on like a West Coast kick right now. So, you know, it is how it is. Um, anyway, let's taste it. What are we waiting for? That's a stone beer for you. Nice bit of bitterness in there. But then you get almost everything you got on the uh, aroma. Um, it's packed full of grapefruit, pine, um, citrus, you know, some a lot of pineapple, even some peach in there. Yeah, definitely big on the peach note, for sure. Um, Medium mouthfeel. It drinks a little bit bigger. Um, you know, you, you can tell this is not, uh, you know, your standard six to seven percent IPA. It's definitely got a little bit more sweetness um, in the back end. It still dries out pretty well, um, but you can tell this has got some some malt character to it. Um, but it doesn't take away from the hops. I mean. That's a lot of hops thrown in here, so it's kind of hard to like pick out, you know, a certain hop. Um, I would just say it gives off a pretty generic, um, but impactful um, West Coast aroma, you know, filled with the pine and grapefruit and citrus and uh, you know the pineapple and all that. It's all there. Yeah, I mean, there's not a ton to say. I mean, if you've had 
any of the Stone and Joy by beers, it's going to be similar to those. Um, like I said, I haven't had one in a while, so it's hard to compare. But, um, you know, it, it tastes familiar to me, I, I will say. Um, as far as the unfiltered part, yeah, I mean, it's actually a little hazier than I thought it would be. You know, a lot of times you see unfiltered on a West Coast IPA, and it's still um, fairly clear. This one, I mean, it's got... You know, it's not like murky or anything, but like you cannot, you know, I can't see my finger through it, you know, maybe the shadow, but I can't see, I can't make out anything. So, um, you know, kudos to them on the unfiltered part. It's definitely not filtered. So, um, you know, not that Stone is, you know, known for lying about anything. So, um, not that I didn't expect it, just, you know, whatever. But yeah, guys, a uh, nice West Coast IPA. Uh, I definitely think you would enjoy it if you like um, previous Stone and Joy by beers, um, if you like West Coast IPAs. If you're not a fan of like bitter, you know, piney, resinous, um, you know, it's got a nice bready sweetness, but also a little bit of like a caramel sweetness to it as well. If you don't like those things, you probably won't like this beer. Um, but yeah, it's it's hitting all the checking all the boxes for me um, as far as West Coast goes. Like I said, I know people watch my videos and might think he never really criticizes a beer. It's because I'm trying to get away from that because I I know every beer is not supposed to be, um, you know, a hype like just off the chain thing. Like some of them are like paying respect to like classic styles or. Um, just keeping it old school or, or keeping it to the roots of what this breweries, you know, what these certain breweries do. So, um, just like in my um, main beer video that I just did, I mean, they haven't changed anything with that beer that used to get a ton of hype, um, and they're just sticking to what they do. And I have respect for that, um, just like I do for these Enjoy by beers. Because when I started drinking craft beer and IPAs, I mean, these were a pretty big deal. So, um, I still like to come back to these. Um, so anyway, guys, yeah, this is a nice West Coast IPA. Definitely recommend you get it if you have not had it. And uh, if you have had it, let me know what you think of it and we can talk about it. So, um, yeah, guys, we'll, uh, you know, catch back up in the next video and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So like this video, leave a comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.